Uh, this video is going to be about the JavaFX bar chart. So I'm going to show you how to do bar charts. It's not much different from the others, so I'm going to skip it fairly fast. I can see I did a, a problem here. I said it should be the area chart, but what's really interesting is actually the pie chart. So that's the, that's the last thing. So I'm going to put the bar chart and pie chart in here, both of them, because I, it won't take long with the bar chart. So if I'm, let me try to change this into bar chart. So right now I have like a scatter chart. So I'll change this into bar chart. And uh, of course I need to um, import that. It's already imported like this. I also need to change it in my FXML file. So instead of scatter, I go for bar chart and I press Alt uh, Enter to import it up here and go back and we can try to run that. And now we can see the drinks that have been sold on different days. And for some reason it collapses here. It might have done something wrong here. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't normally do that. If I click again, it, it works. But you can see here, if we put different days here or different uh, week numbers here, we could have charts for the different weeks and this way we could display and it nicely uh, changes the colors like that. So pretty cool. So this is basically the bar chart. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, we could randomize these to get some more cool data. We could also uh, randomize the, the name because now it's drink sold. So we could say like, Let's just do that. I'll just, I already have my random here, so I'll put it here. And then I'm going to say something like, do a for loop and do that for, let's say 10 weeks. And I'm going to say series set name and then say week and then plus i plus, let's start in week 12. And then we'll take all of these, put them in here. And instead of these numbers, I'm going to see r dot next int, and I'm going to say it's going from zero to 100 or actually 99. And it should be, let's say we are selling at least 10 a day so we can go back to 90 here, something like that. And let's put this into the others as well. So this will create some, some data points that looks a bit more interesting. Okay, I'm missing a semicolon somewhere. I think I just put one too many of these parentheses in here. So let's go for that. And beware that I'm creating now. Um, okay. I'm doing this will look weird, I think. Did I press it? No. So this won't work because I actually wanted to create a series per um, per week. So that's why I changed the name. So this is what I really wanted to do. Sorry about that. So let's see. So now you can see week number, uh, it's using string concatenation. So let's just change that. So because I didn't have a parentheses here, it's it's adding these two first. So it's just going to be 0, 12, 1, 12. So I can add parentheses here, forcing it to do integer concatenation, meaning it will add the numbers instead of adding it like a string. So then it will look a bit nicer. So now we see week 12, week 13, 14, etc. Um, goes on like that. We can see the differences per week. 
we can even see there's a small spacing in between each day and still for some reason it collapses with the names here so yeah I'm not sure let's see Okay, so that's it for the uh, bar charts. So the next thing is uh, just a uh, bit more complicated, the pie chart, because here we also want some data into it, but it's not that much uh, difference to that. So let's try to change just raw change into a, a pie chart instead. So we'll go pie chart, yes, and We'll go into the controller, sorry, into the FXML document and import the pie chart. And now we're getting some interesting stuff here because now it says there's some problem here with the X axis here now because pie charts are a bit different than this. So in pie charts, we don't need the axis because there's actually only one axis, that is the circle. So we'll remove these two here. So now we'll just have the pie chart. And the next thing we'll do is that we'll have to put in some, uh, let's go in here. So now we cannot say that we want a string and a number we need to do something else. So with the pie chart, we don't have any thing like this. We don't have the X and Y axis. So we're just going to define this as a pie chart. We don't need the X and Y axis of, of the pie chart because there is none. <clears throat> so now we need to uh, some way put some data into the pie chart. So we do this a bit differently. We're going to say observable list. And then we're going to say an observable list of pie chart data. That is what we have. And the pie chart data, pie data, the pie, pie chart data is then we need to create an observable list of items because we don't have one. So we're going to use the FX collections observable array list in this case. And then we're going to put in here, we're going to put the different pie charts data that we want. So we need to say new pie chart data. And then we need to put some categories and everything in there, right? So I'm going to move this part, just take it into here. And then I'm going to say pie chart data. And then I'm going to take this code here and put it in here basically like that. And then we're going to do the same thing one more time. Go here, 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 and here. And then we're going to say Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And going to remove that. <clears throat> and let's just see. I've did some wrong here. Let me see. So the series and everything, we're not using that with the with the pie chart data like that. So we'll just remove that. Uh, we need to add the series though. So let's remove that part or we, we don't want to add the series, but we need to uh, set this observable list. So we're going to say chart dot set data, and then we're going to put the pi data in here. So that's a bit different. So let's see, I have still some small unexpected token here. Let's see, this is for that one. Okay, so I just, maybe I just have too many of these parentheses here like that. Okay, so now I'm doing basically the same thing. 
except this is not put into an XY data collection because there's no XY on the on the pie. We're just creating a list of data items. So now it's saying Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I'm think I'm thinking let's not put this in a loop. This will be weird. So let's see if we can do some code. What's it called? Reformat like that. Now something weird is going on. Hmm. Why did it do that all of a sudden? Now it's all grayed out. Oh, that's why. Okay. Let's see if we can do that again. Reformat code. Like that, so it looks a bit nicer. So this way we will set the pie chart data. Let's see what's going on now. Oops, something class or enum. Ah, oh, too many brackets. So this is what it looks like. So we have our, our pie here and we put different um, sizes into it. We can't see the actual sizes here. We can configure that if we want. But what you do, what you can see here is that you can see that that we uh, we uh, we have the um, different days here, and you can see the relative distribution of these. Okay. Yeah, so that's basically it for the different kinds of charts. Um, so I hope you got a bit of an understanding of each of them. And now you can start working with them.